one. Okay. Good evening, because right now it's uh, we're uh, minutes away from midnight. We are on April fifth, twenty seventeen, and this is another Wednesday and another episode of My Weird Wednesdays. Welcome to the show, and thank you for being there. Thank you for tuning in. Okay, this week we have uh, some things that have happened uh, all around the world and especially here in Peru. Um, today is um, a rather shameful anniversary because on April 5th, 1992, uh, the Republican Congress in Peru was uh, dissolved by the the then president Alberto Fujimori, um, who uh, instaurated uh, an authoritarian and dictatorial regime um, that was not exactly as a dictatorship because um, it was flexible enough for other people from outside not to notice. And so, well, mm, this is something that many people would like to forget, but I think that it's, it's something that we should remember because if we don't learn from the past we are doomed to repeat it and um, that's the reason why I consider that it's important for us to remember this kind of things because this really jeopardized our already fragile democracy here in Peru and uh, it uh, began uh, an era of lots of crimes and and assassinations and very uh, it was a very dark uh, age in here in Peru. There were many things that just didn't feel right, but you weren't able to even say anything against that and because there were many people who dared to do so and they were uh, literally exterminated and it was really it was really risky for anyone to to dare to go against the current uh, well something that is also happening right now I think in Lima is Justin Bieber's concert <laughs> and well uh, he uh, he makes him he makes himself known uh, on YouTube and then he was um, well he had a chance to to record a, um, an album when he was very young and well, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs> and um, well, that uh, elicited a lot of young people like him who did basically the same with not exactly the same success. And something that I like to say about that is that you should do things not just because you want to have your 15 minutes of fame uh, citing Andy Warhol um, but that you really want to do it it's something that you really want to do and no I'm not against expressing yourself but if you're just doing it for the claps that's all you're gonna get and so uh, you should do things because you really want to do them not just because you want to show off or do you want to 
do you recognize or acknowledge or that you want to have fame and fortune because of that uh, you should do things that that come from the bottom of your heart and when you do so well you you are successful success comes to you and that's something that I think that's the secret for Justin Bieber's success because he, he did really want to think he still does and maybe that's the reason why he is so successful in spite of many people like me <laughs> who don't like very much his music. Um, okay, so well. Some other thing that I wanted to talk about is something that I wanted to to share with you, and that's the the, re the explanation, the reason why you see me dressed in in black. That's because yesterday at 12:30 p.m., um, my maternal grandmother, um, Miss. Doris Valle Vargas, uh, widow of Hinojosa, uh, passed away, and uh, well, it, it was kind of sad, you know, it was very sad for me, because she was, um, she was a very important person for me, she taught me a lot, she had a, a lot of knowledge, even though she didn't go to college, but she was a very knowledgeable, uh, very knowledgeable person, and she always had this this uh, desire of learning more and more. She was a very avid reader. She read every day. Just I I think I inherited that from her. Um, uh, she always was looking for more things to learn, for more things to share with other people, and I, I think I was really blessed for having her in my life, and I'm gonna miss her a lot now she's gone. But I don't want to talk much about that because I don't want to get that uh, in this video. Um, well, something else that I I want to talk about that's um, that's the the weekly uh, the weekly info is that I found out uh, via my Facebook newsfeed um, that there is a group of scientists in Toulouse, uh, France. They are searching for people um, for an experiment, and they want to. They want them. These scientists want the um, the human guinea pigs, so to speak, to to be laid on a bed, laying on a bed for sixty. Yes, of course, there's going to be a lot of testing and a lot of analyzing uh, uh, along along the way. And, uh, well, they are supposed to be paid uh, 16,000 euros. That is uh, roughly a little more than $17,000. $17,000. Um, and well, if you think that's easy money, uh, think think again, because I don't think it's gonna be a bed of roses, um, because I don't think it's gonna be, uh, I don't think it's gonna be uh, very comfortable to be in basically the same position for sixty days. Um, well, so I I knew that the uh, IFL Science that is a very interesting site. I I recommend you to follow it. It's, it's 
it's really interesting and it's really exciting to have this access for more um, for more information about diet and uh, well my weekly obsession that was also my my weekly obsession from last week uh, is about um, all time all time shows um, thanks to my friend Eric who allows me to use uh, his internet booth to to record these videos well um, um he's a, a, a very enthusiastic fan of anime in general and thanks to him I have been able to to watch a lot of good anime and um, and I recently watched some some anime like Yo Amo Shipero, for example uh, but I also, I, we were also watching some other, some other, uh, old animes like Candy Candy <laughs> and some others, uh, like, uh, Versailles Nobara, like the, the Rose of Versailles, which it's a very interesting story, I suggest you to, 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 to check it, and so, well, um, I would like you to leave in the comments what was your favorite TV show from back then when you were when you were children. Maybe it could be a cartoon, or maybe a kids show, maybe a game show, or maybe I don't know documentaries or or science shows, maybe uh, anime also, or maybe even uh, soap operas or movies, I don't know, it, it depends on you. I would like you to, to, to leave that in the comments and we will uh, discuss it next week. So, um, and something about the, the Spanish mic class, um, well, uh, to, to have some continuity with the topic that we talked about two, two weeks ago, uh, the issue about this uh, acquired uh, gender that uh, things and objects have, and even some animals. Um, for example, what do we do about some animals? For example, we have a turtle is la tortuga. But what if we want to specify about uh, the sex of the animal? We use the words macho for male and hembra for female. For example, we have la tortuga macho, that would be the, the male turtle, and la tortuga hembra would be the female turtle. Okay? Um, and for example, it happens also with many other animals. But for some, we have um, heteronymous words. That means that they are completely different words. We have, for example, gallo for rooster and gallina for hen. Well, they are kind of similar. We have, for example, vaca for cow and toro for bull. And then we have, uh, for example, uh, caballo for horse and yegua for the the mare. I think that that's the that's the term. If I'm not wrong, if I am, please correct me. <laughs> Leave it in the comments if I'm if I got that word wrong. Um, and so you should check that in a good dictionary. That is gonna tell you what the gender is. And so you can know that uh, you can use macho or hembra depending on the gender of the animal. And if not, maybe you can <clears throat> you can have uh, you can change the gender by just uh, changing the, the last vowel. Like for example, we have gato and we have gata. Right? Um, 
And then we have, for example, uh, or we, you can add an A at the end. For example, we have Leon, lion, and Leona, the lioness, right? And, and so on. Okay, so now, uh, well, this is all for this week. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for all the people around the world who is watching who are watching this this video and all the videos from the blog and uh, thank you so much thank you for liking subscribing commenting and sharing the video